Well, our next guest is certainly dressed for the occasion. This is Gidget. You met her earlier. And of course, Jimmy's been ooing and aahing over her all this afternoon. But it is my turn. You can see she's beautiful. Gidget's human, Amanda Knopf, also joins us this afternoon to help us get ready for this weekend's Rescues Rock the Runway. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. This is Gidget has quite a uh, ensemble here. Does she dress like this all the time? Not all the time, but pretty much. Pretty much, yes. <laughs> it's all blinged out here. So we're talking about the second Rescues Rock the Runway. Tell us about how it got started. Well, I have uh, rescues of my own, and uh, I know I can't save every rescue, but I'd like to save a couple. Yeah. I can do that. Yeah, so so you came up with this idea, and this actually benefits uh, homeless pets in Worcester County? Yes. So what? tell us what happens. Uh, well, we dress up the rescues for the runway show, and other people can enter, too, from the community. and. Um, we try to get as many adopted as we can. Yeah, and you were saying they it makes them look a little less intimidating yes. when they're all dressed up like that? Yeah, because most of the um, dogs in shelters these days it, are pit bulls, mm -hmm. and it just helps people not see them as so intimidating, and they're more adoptable. And if you can dress them, they, they must be pretty... Um, Easy to handle. Yeah, easy to handle. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so tell us about the impact last year's event had. Oh, we had a great impact. Um, my main concern for the, wasn't raising money for them, but it was getting dogs adopted. Uh -huh. And there was some dogs adopted out of our event. Oh my goodness. All right, so tell me about where these outfits, you say you actually design some of the outfits? Yes, I design the outfits and Virginia Knopf makes them. And uh, we just try to dress the dogs up. Aw, and these are absolutely adorable. We're looking at some pictures here. Now we have our Pet Connect every Friday featuring animals on Delmarva that need a home. Uh, but the the great the, the the need is really great this spring, isn't it? Yes. Are you seeing Especially a lot? Especially in the spring. Yeah. So so tell tell me a little bit about um, Gidget here. Uh, well, Gidget's dress was made by Virginia Canal. Mm -hmm. Would you like me to tell you about uh, how I rescued yeah, her? Yeah, tell me about how I you... I actually rescued her down here. She was from a hoarding situation, and that's why she can be a little skittish sometimes. But when I dress her in her outfit, she just seems like she feels more comfortable. She has been in the audience for uh, quite a while, sitting there so nice and, and pretty and everything. Just a wonderful little dog. So who should attend the uh, the fashion show? Anybody interested in adopting dogs, mm -hmm. anybody interested in contributing to the cause, and anybody that just wants to have fun with the dogs that day. Bring out the dogs, dress them yep, up, and let them have we're gonna have, have games, we're gonna have a runway show. It's gonna be fun. What's your favorite part of the whole thing? Probably dressing up the dogs dressing for the runway up. show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. And you're asking for um, t a ten dollar donation or pet supplies. Yep. Any any kind of pet supplies you can think of. Food, mm -hmm. uh, wee wee pads supplies, anything. Yeah, and all helps homeless animals, homeless pets in Worcester County. Let's go over the event details. It's a Saturday? This Saturday at, from 12 to 4. At the Roland E. Powell Convention Center. That, of course, is in Ocean City. Amanda Gidget, thank you so much for coming in today. And Gidget, you have been such a good little girl here. <laughs> you're going to look good on, you're going to rock that runway, right? <laughs>